Parliamentary Secretary Eric Chua. Oh, sorry, hold on, uh, Mr. Pereira. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Just a very quick uh, clarification. I thank Mr. Sier for his uh, speech. I just wanted to ask for a clarification on one point. Mr. Sier said that we all seek to leave behind something for the next generation, and he spoke about the NIR uh, ceiling, and he made, made a, a few very interesting points. I just wanted to ask him if he would acknowledge that you know, we have a 50% cap on the NIR contribution. That's a, a cap of 50% that can be taken into the budget uh, every year. Would uh, the honourable member acknowledge that if we increase that cap from 50% to 60%, for example, there is still 40% that goes into the reserves and that gets compounded, so that therefore you're not actually uh, decreasing the reserves, you're just increasing the reserves at a slower rate, and you still will leave behind something more to the next generation because that amount gets compounded and compounded as years go by. So in other words, I'm just asking, is there anything magical is there some special methodology that leads us to say that 50% is the Goldilocks zone that's exactly right, but 60% is irresponsible or 65% is irresponsible or so on? So that's, that's my clarification. Thank you. Sister. Uh, Madam, I thank the member for his clarification. Uh, I'll keep this short in the interest of time. Um, I listened to Professor Hoon yesterday, and he spoke about every society having to find its own judgment about where is the sweet spot. And so to Mr. Pereira's question, I think it is really a question of judgment. Um, and in my view, if we look at the entire revenue mix, our NRC rate now, as it currently stands of 50-50, is, in my view, the right mix, uh, the, the right uh, balance, and we should look at other revenue levers in the first instance. Thank you.